how to manage alternate bearing in avocado trees. What's alternate bearing? That's when you have a year where a tree has a lot of fruit followed by a year where a tree has very little fruit. And sometimes it starts on a young tree, but more often it starts on an older tree. There are three main uh, ways to manage that or to kind of even things out. Uh, one way is to simply, if a tree's having what's called an on year, whereas there's a heavy crop, you can remove some of the fruit while it's very small. Uh, I wouldn't do it when the fruit is this small. I'd wait until it gets a little bigger, maybe thumbnail size, or even a little bit bigger than that, sometime around June or, or even into July, and then uh, remove some of the fruit if the tree has a heavy crop year. They've done studies showing that doing so will lead to uh, more flowering and more fruit set the following year. So you'll thereby even things out. Okay, let me take you down to another tree and show you another method. All right, here's a big uh, Hass tree. There it is. Another way to manage alternate bearing is through girdling. So you'll notice that there's a big uh, ring around this branch here. That's a girdle. Um, when, you, when you cut into a branch like that, what happens is everything above that branch uh, gets sort of extra carbohydrates and it induces, if it's done at the right time, it induces heavy flowering. And so you'll see um, on this tree that there's been a lot of bloom and fruit set on all the branches um, above that girdle. There's been very little flowering on all the other branches. So in other words, what I've done is I've, I've split this tree into parts where the girdled branch is gonna have a lot of fruit. The rest of the tree is gonna have very little fruit. So what I can do is the following year, I can girdle a different branch and, and then get a lot of fruit off that other branch and I can split the tree up into two or three different halves or thirds and, and kind of get a lot of fruit in different quadrants or parts of the tree each year. So girdling is another way to manage the fruit production and reduce or eliminate the alternate bearing or actually manipulate the alternate bearing tendency of a tree. Uh, let me show you one other way to do the, to, to manage alternate bearing. You may recognize these trees. This is my pear, uh, a reed on the left and a lamb on the right. And have a look inside the trees. This is the lamb. There's lots of fruit on the lamb, right? It's, it's definitely having an on year. Uh, this is May, so these will be harvested starting in July. Uh, but look at the look at the leaves. It's all leaves. There are no flowers on this lamb. Now next door we have a reed. It's also having an on year. It's got tons of fruit. But then if you back up, you look around the outside of the tree and you've got a lot of flowers as well. There's flowers all over the place. And so another way to manage alternate bearing is by uh, choosing varieties that don't alternate bear as much. <laughs> Reed is one such variety. Lamb is well known to be a pretty heavily alternate bearer. It has on years followed by off years, but Reed is a bit more consistent and so by choosing the variety that alternates less, you can get fruit every year. Some fruit every year, almost every year. You know, you can you can uh, even it out more. You're not guaranteed of anything, but you can even it out more and have more consistent, even production. All right, that's how to manage. That's three ways to manage alternate bearing in avocados.